So we left uh, Bilawila last night, stayed at the uh, Bilawila Information Centre, that was uh, quite a good uh, campsite, 10 bucks a night there, power on water, uh, 15 bucks a night actually, um, but uh, it started raining there so we didn't do a lot, didn't actually film or anything. Anyway, uh, yesterday we left there and arrived here at the Gained uh, Railway Heritage um, Camp. So, a um, little camp spot, $5 per person per night, um, beside this Heritage Railway. And you can see the old Gained uh, train station here. About to do a bit of a tour with the local boat. So it'll be fun. Anyway, we are happy to actually pull up beside another base. Peter and Lisa. Great to meet you guys. Um, catch up with them during the day. I think we're going to the tour, so we'll see them there. This is the uh, club lounge in one of the Heritage rail cars. This is donated by Queensland Rail and they've done, what do you say, 7 million kilometres by the time they... Miles? Uh, miles by the time they retired them and donated them to this Gained our Heritage Railway Museum. Hi Anne, question for you. What's the oldest town in Queensland? Anne's a uh, trivia buff, so you should know this Anne. I'll give you a couple of seconds. <laughs> All Second. right, if you haven't thought of it, the oldest town in, Queens, in Queensland is Gainda. Gainda. established 1849. The orange. There's a big orange somewhere, so we've got to go and find the big orange. big orange. Here we are at another big thing. This is the big orange. Gainda. More impressive than the big peanut. I just connected up to some free Wi-Fi here in Gainda. Did you know, courtesy of Telstra, a lot of public phone boxes now um, have free Wi-Fi. So if you're close to a, a phone box, you've got some aerials on top of it. They often have a, a wireless symbol on top of the phone box. But if you scan for a Wi-Fi network, uh, you'll see a free Telstra Wi-Fi. Don't have to um, pay, you don't have to log in, you just have to accept some conditions. So, yeah, make use of it. Some cool old buildings in uh, Gaindar Main Street. Look at that. Uh, actual bank branch, NAB. Nice building. Also, check out this uh, coffee shop. drive out of Gainda. Um, recommendations from um, Peter and Lisa who are the other zone owners we follow on the channel. Uh, they left this morning but they uh, they went out here to the Idaway upside down bridge. So um, Peter and Lisa who are taking your recommendations uh, better be good. <laughs> yeah anyway thought we'd go for a drive and have a look. Um, anyway we were out for lunch and um, turned up back at the Heritage uh, Railway van park and there's another zone behind us, uh, beside us, so they're everywhere. Yet to meet those guys, maybe they'll be there when we get back. But uh, we'll show you the upside down bridge um, shortly. Right, here we are at the historic upside down bridge. And looks like they've built it with that span support underneath so that trains can go over the top. Typically, that's uh, above the bridge. Anyway, this is uh, part of the branch line, I think, that our uh, train line where we're staying um, is part of, which was closed, I think. When was the train line closed? 2008? Yeah, something like that, or 2000. No, no. Oh. Earlier. All right. Mm. Look at that. That's oh. unusual, isn't it? Most. Thanks, uh, 
Peter and Lisa, that's the recommendation. We're now on top of Mount Debatable. Um, funny name. Not quite sure why it's called Mount Debatable, but uh, O'Connell's Lookout. We're at no, McConnell's Lookout. What was the the river? The Burke Burnett, Burnett River. Nice view, actually. Let's see how much uh, citrus is growing from up here all along the river. We are at the Imbul Showgrounds. Got here yesterday. Um, Travelled uh, from Gaindar yesterday. Um, anyway, it's wet. Raining. Anyway, it's not a bad spot. You see the big sign there on top of the shed, Imbul Showgrounds. Uh, we're uh, camped up at uh, Mullaney Showground. Uh, got here yesterday. Um, another wet day, wasn't it, Lucy? Mm. So cold, and cold and windy most of the day yesterday. Got out for a bit of a walk around town yesterday. It's a yeah, nice little town, Mullaney. Mm. Um, we're here for a special purpose. Lucy's got a birthday present, which um, we'll show you tomorrow mm. um, here in Mullaney mm. and around. Anyway, we might go for a drive this morning. We're uh, going to check out the markets in Mullaney um, and then the Glasshouse Mountains is only half an hour's drive away. So, so this is uh, where we're going today to the Big Mower. I bet no one's been to the Big Mower before. Excited about that, Lucy? Oh, yes, over the moon. <laughs> This is Gardner's Falls, just near Mullaney. So we're still in the Mullaney Showgrounds and um, it's, we're about to head out on our amazing co-adventure. Um, so you got a, uh, a gift, didn't you, Lucy, from mm -hmm. family? Dad and Pat and the kids. Go and they, for my birthday, and it's um, you collect uh, cheeses and chocolate and meat and have a picnic at the end. I'm yeah. just about to go to the chocolate. Oh well, there's um, clues. You got to answer all these clues you get given on the morning of the uh, experience, and then that takes you to all these different places where you collect food and um, drinks, and end up having a picnic later on. So here we are, Mulaney Chocolate Company. Mmm, this looks good. Which one are you going to choose? Well, I think this one actually. Mmm, that's that one. Mulaney chocolate company. Okay, so we've got our chocolate from the Mulaney Chocolate Factory. You already saw that. Um, the next clue, we've got this wheel with coded letters. So we need to translate the letters into a word. So we're going to the Mulaney Food Company um, in Mulaney. <laughs> <laughs> and they're around the corner. So we'll put that in Google and um, we'll see you there. Picked up our food hamper from the Milani Food Company, mm. which looks really cool. Mm. And the next stop along the way 
There's Mulaney cheese. So we'll head there. What do we get there? Got okay. cheese, what sort of cheese? Brie. Brie, Brie. And two drinks. Orange juice and a lemon sarsaparilla. Orange and passion fruit. Mm. So the next clue is we've got to drive as a picture. Mm. Picture of a view there. It says drive here for your next clue. Gerard's Lookout. So here we are at Gerard's Lookout where the next clue is. So this is the view. Pretty spectacular up here, isn't it? <laughs> Cleared up a little bit, so the view's not too bad. A little bit of blue sky, it was nice. Okay, we're gonna go over to the, the pointer over there and work out where our next stop is. We'll do that, I'll let you know. So next we are going to a vineyard, Flame Hill Vineyard. Here we are at the Flame Hill Vineyard, Montville. Spectacular drive in along this ridge of the Montville. Mm. Views everywhere, isn't there? It's amazing. Oh, this red wine um, fountain. Red wine coming out of the fountain. <laughs> oh. Not the only ones here. So what did we choose, Lucy? We've got a bottle of Flame Hill Montville Shiraz. And it's one of the uh, wines that they uh, produce from grapes grown on this property here. Mm. So we're now off to Sweet and Flower, a bakery in Mapleton. Here we are at our last location, the Sweet and Flower Bakery in nice. Mapleton. <laughs> Let's see what we get here. What did you get? <laughs> this is our lunch, <laughs> our picnic lunch. I'd like to say thanks to Anne and Pat and their children, Laura and Bernie, Molly, Alison, and I suppose Josh, Isaac, Susie and Miriam for this lovely spread of all this delicious food for my birthday. <laughs> thanks very much guys. Mmm, look at that. Mmm. Mapleton Food Company. Mm. Cheese chocolate, a couple of drinks, and a bottle oh, of Shiraz. Mmm, mm, nice.